test drive in a Toyota GR86 stick shift. It's got some punch to it for sure. So our lane assist options and different features are off because we got the stickers in front of the cameras here. But once the stickers are gone, we're gonna have access to So this does have cruise control option that you could set right here. And this is a lane. If you wanna keep it on three bars, you'll have a further distance from the car in front of you. And if you just keep it on one bar, you'll be really close to the car that's in front of you. And this is a premium trim, but it doesn't have the JBL sound speakers, but it's got a nice suede Look at finish. the rear camera. And just like a Subaru WRX, you got to pull the trigger, put it in reverse, and it's got a nice reverse camera there. Not too bad. Damn. The 2024 Toyota GR86. Just took her for a test drive, and boy, oh boy, does it have some get up and go to it. First thing I want to do is pop the hood here and see what it's working with for the engine. And I like to note that it's actually a stick shift. You don't see too many of them these days. Let's pop the hood and see what it's working with. There's always got to be some type of battery power. And what if an EMP goes off? You won't be able to open it. Because see, the window has to open and close. So there isn't going to be telescopic bipods on here. It's a manual stick. This is a 2.4 liter four-cylinder engine. And there isn't a turbo attached to it. And it's pushing out a modest 228 horsepower. And I like it. There's your oil filter right there. There's the Toyota key fob. It's got a lock and unlock button. And the unlock button is actual logo right there that you can press. It's cool. A panic button. And it doesn't have an automatic start, unfortunately. It is a key latch or a key button that you press that brings out a key there. You could use it to lock and unlock your car case of a catastrophic battery failure but you won't be able to start the engine up this is actually very controversial i'm a neutral driver i don't downshift my view is neutral driving saves on your transmission and it saves on your engine i think it's more beneficial to neutral drive if you ask me and you'll know, get more longevity out your car. I think you put a little bit more stress on the brakes, but brakes are extremely cheap to replace, but a transmission costs over $2,000. So there's your start and stop button there. So we're gonna push down the clutch, fire it up. Some climate controls to match the red exterior. And I'll let you know the color of it in a second. It does have Apple CarPlay and Sirius XM satellite radio. You get a three month membership with it. There's your glove box. And it does have heated seats, old school style. Put the button's right there. Traction control, track mode. There's your rear defog, hazard lights. I love the suede here on the side. It makes it feel extremely premium. Here's your side mirrors, automatic downs on both windows and a child lock. Nice little spot there for your Coca-Colas. They're all manual seats. There's no electricity in them. And it, it helps with your get up and go because everything adds weight, you know? A motor inside of here. 
a spare tire adds weight. I doubt they'll have one. And then you could pump it to make it go higher or go the opposite to make it go lower. There's a bar for the seat there. And you do have an option for a passenger. Let's see how that looks. So it's not gonna be very comfortable back here, <laughs> but you can pull it off. It's doable. I wouldn't recommend going on long trips, especially if you're over six feet. <laughs> but it's doable. Got some speakers back here, and if you get the upgraded premium version, you get a JBL sound system, but these are just standard. And a nice little flipper right there, I call it. A split flipper. You don't got wireless charging, but you do have USB options. There's no USB type C though. So to get out, you just flip that there, and then you can make your way out the vehicle. That's a six speed manual close ratio transmission. Boxer by Subaru. Love the dual exhaust here on the back. Adds to that sporty feel. The wheels, we got all season 18 inch alloy wheels, multi-spoke, and they're high quality Michelins, which I'm very happy to see. Huge fan of some functional venting here on the side. Love that, I'm not a fan of fake vents at all. I like that bar that goes across there to stop deformation on tight turns at high rates of speed. There it is. I just love the way the rear fender looks on it. It's beautiful, ain't it?